Meanwhile, flags at government buildings are flying at half-staff. A national mourning period has been declared throughout next week, and foreign nationals affected by the events of last night will also receive necessary support and assistance. These are some of President Yoon's directives today. Our editor-in-chief, Moon Gun Young, reports from the presidential office. Never again vowed South Korean President Yoon suk yeol as he pledged thorough investigation to get to the bottom of an apparent crowd surge in Itaewon that led to the death of at least 151 people late Saturday night. Addressing the nation on live television Sunday morning, President Yoon said supporting the families of the victims, including their funeral preparations and the treatment of the injured, would be a top priority for his government. <laughs> Chungda a national mourning period that will last until November 5th, during which flags at government buildings will fly at half-staff, and memorial altars will be set up in various parts of the city, including at Seoul Plaza, for people to pay tributes to the victims. At a government response meeting that followed his visit to the accident site later on Sunday, Mr. Yoon and his government designated the Yongsan Ward, a part of Seoul where the nightlife district of Itaewon lies, as a special disaster zone and made sure the families of the victims and the injured would also receive financial assistance. Seoul's top office said the entire presidential office remained on the highest alert and the management of Saturday night's tragic stampede took front and center of its every agenda. Stressing that prompt medical support will be provided to the injured, President Yoon also instructed us to make sure relevant foreign missions in South Korea are swiftly informed of the deaths and injuries of their nationals. Of the more than 150 lost lives, at least 20 were foreign nationals, and it's still unclear how many more are unaccounted for. President Yoon's chief press secretary said the top office, along with the nation's foreign affairs and justice ministries, are putting all-out efforts to provide necessary support and assistance to the bereaved, injured and missing foreign citizens. Moon Gonyo, Arirang News.